This is James Helder for IFL TV. I'm here in Roseville ABC today. I'm in the back room in the office. Um, with me, I've got Warren Fearless Fenn, and we're here just to talk about a little bit how his training is going for his preparation of his fight on the 22nd of November yes, at, at the Candom Centre. How are we doing, Warren? What's going I'm on, mate? Good, mate, yourself. I ain't seen you for a while. So I'm all right, yeah. It's good to see you again. We've been globe trotting, kind of. Yeah. Everything's been all right. How's your training been going? Gone really well, thanks, mate. Um, probably the best camp so far. Yeah. Um, it has to be because it's a six rounder. It'll be my first six rounder. Um, I want to try and impress in this fight and obviously look to fight for a title in my next fight or the one after that. So um, it's all going good, mate. Do you think that's a sign of progress? You now you now get stepping up to the six round mark. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I've got to progress now. Um, I'm used to the fours and the last uh, couple of fights. The four rounds haven't been long enough. Um, mm. I've just been warming up, so I think going up to six rounds is going to obviously benefit me a bit more because of my style and stuff. Having only had seven fights, uh, or coming into your seventh fight at the moment, do you think you've been managed right and they're building you at the right pace? Yeah, I think so. There's no rush. Uh, I don't want to run before I can walk. Um, I, I do want to fight for a title pretty soon, but you know, probably an eight-round title and then obviously progress from there. Um, for me... It, the performances uh, tell the story, so if my performances are worthy of a world, a world title, then um, yeah, stick me in for a title fight. I'm not, I'm in no rush, so. What kind of title would you be looking at? Would you be looking at a Southern Area title, maybe? Uh, probably a Masters first and then a Southern Area, whatever, whatever they want to give me, to be fair. Um, I don't really want to rush, like I said, um, let my performances do the talking and then I'll go from there. My promoter's my promoter, he's the one who makes my fights for me, so I'll fight whoever he puts in front of me, really. What's Mickey Elliott like as a promoter? Do you get on more with him? Yeah, yeah, I get on well with him. Um, he's a good promoter. He's, um, he's put, I think he's pointing me in the right direction, he's slowly building me. He's not rushing me into the big scene, the big time straight away, so um, I think things are going well with him. What's the mood like in the gym at the moment? Obviously, Lenny Dawes had a huge disappointment in Italy. That's been well documented. He's up again on the 16th in Blue Water. Yeah. Um, we've got Chaz Sparta Simons yeah. <laughs> believing to be get off of a plane yesterday, so he'll he's, be, back, he's, soon, he'll be yeah. back in the gym. So what's what's the mood been like? To be fair, it's been beast mode the last few weeks. Me and Lenny have been really beasting it on the circuits, on the pads, on the bags. Um, it's just hard work, all hard work. Like we come in, we have a joke at the beginning, and then we just get right down to it beast it out and then we have a joke at the end so it's, it's all good it's all going really well do you think you've benefited from maybe the gym not being as busy as it's been and Ian being able to give you maybe more time and obviously working as close with just you and um, Lenny as you have yeah um, it's good to be in the gym with Lenny because obviously he's like a he's like a what should we say like a sports car he's got such a big engine he just keeps going so he kind of drags me along with him but um, I think usually when there's more in the gym we all push each other so it's, it's a bit of both really, um, obviously when we're on the pads and that he can spend a bit more time with us when there's only a couple of us in the gym but um, when there's more of us we all push each other so it's all good yeah. Serious question now, what's going on with that haircut? Oh no, it's just, just something different mate. You know you join I mean? in, are you joining <laughs> Towie or what, what's going on? Well, I don't know, you know what I mean, it's just, it's just something different, I just, I've got bored with having short hair and plus um, the way I look at it, I'm probably going to be bald in a few years' time, let's face it. So I might as well have my <laughs> hair now and grow it and keep it on my head while I've got it. <laughs> That's a great philosophy. So, I'm glad the camera can't see my hair at the moment because it's not great. Yeah, it looks a bit of a mess, mate, to yeah. be fair. All right, all right, steady. <laughs> steady. Um, um, I just want a, bit, uh, a big shout out to my sponsors. I've got two uh, financial sponsors now. Yeah. Um, Perfection Ground Baits, um, they're sponsoring me money. So is DNA Baits as well. They're both bait companies for carp fishing. Um, but they're actually interested in my boxing, they want to see me do my best. So um, they believe in me that I'm going to obviously win titles. So I'm, I'm very appreciative for that. It's quite a strange thing having a, someone from another sport fishing, and it is a sport we have to fish in world championships, yeah. to sponsor someone in another sport. That's quite a unique thing, isn't um, it? Yeah, it is and it isn't. If, I think you just need support uh, from any company I think it's going to benefit them um, at the end of the day obviously boxing's boxing fishing's fishing but it's the support of the people behind the scenes which obviously is helping me it's not the actual company like um, then people obviously they're into, into boxing and that and um, they want to see me do my best they, they know they know of me from fishing and that and they know I'm a nice guy and that and they think oh he works hard and that so obviously they want to be behind me 100% and they want to see me do well. 
not just for myself, for the country as well. What uh, do you gain from your fishing that you learn about your boxing? I suppose patience is the obvious one. Um, I think, to be fair, they're both uh, the same in the context that you get what you put in. You've got to work for your fish. Um, the more effort you put in, uh, bait, pre-baiting the spot, keep going back, pre-baiting it, and then fishing it, getting up early hours in the morning, um, you, you'll catch the fish. But it's the same as the, obviously the boxing when you're training. You've got to get up early hours in the morning, get your run done, then you go into the boxing gym. And the more you put in the gym, the better you perform on the night. So in that context, they're kind of similar. But um, I think it's just... Yeah, it's like I just said, it's what you put in, what you get. Um, the hard work you put in, you'll get the results at the end. So. Well, listen, yeah. you seem to be going in the right direction. <laughs> As I said, you're looking in fantastic shape at cheers. the moment. I know you're still cutting weight and stuff, yeah. but we look forward to seeing you out on the 22nd. OK, cheers, James. And keep doing what you're doing. Thanks. This is James Holder with Warren Phyllis Venn for IFL TV. Thank you for watching. Just sitting like I can hold you there about moving. <laughs>